Go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox a new, brand new Godex printer. You, you have to apologize. I do apologize. I did already open the box. I just want to make sure we are ready to go, and nobody had to deal with watching me try and open it with a knife. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open this brand new Godex. This is what we sell here at GigaTrek, and we'll go ahead and kind of show you the basic setups here and just get the printer out and going. So I'm gonna first start out with the unboxing here, and then right away I'm gonna see all my parts here right on top. So I'm going to start pulling everything out and making sure we have it. Go ahead and get all of this set up out here so we can see it. Now this bag here is going to be important as, as you can kind of see right now. There are a bunch of different parts in here and these parts will be what we'll need as we're getting going with this printer. So I'm going to make sure I have this somewhere I can get to it as we're going through. And the great news is too, it's going to have this piece of paper in it. And for the most part, this paper is going to cover what I'm going to show you here. It's gonna have nice little photo representations of getting this printer out and getting it all set up. So let's go ahead and keep taking out of the box. The next thing here is you'll see the printer is right there. And with that printer, it is nicely seated in some foam so you know nothing's gonna get damaged with it. Now you'll notice whenever we pulled this out, this was just the printer and the parts for the printer. That's because if you're getting labels from us, it will either come maybe in a box that's a little bigger and the labels will be separate in there or sometimes you'll get them in these nice little postal boxes we do do that as well and you'll see here i do have the labels as well as ribbon so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start setting this up as though we're going to use it so what i'm going to go ahead and you can see there's two parts that i grabbed here quick this is the power supply so first we have the power supply part that'll connect into the back of the printer and the other is the actual power cable. So as you can see, I've kind of got the back of the printer facing you right now. And the main things we're gonna look at here is we've got our power, our power cable connector, and then our USB connector that we'll use for connecting the printer. So first off, you'll notice I do have it off just to be safe. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this off until I've got everything plugged in here. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull out that nice power cable and we're gonna go ahead and take the cord and get that all connected in here. So give me just a second as I get this unwound. And we'll go ahead and take that cable, make sure it goes in here, and we're gonna make sure we give it a good nice push so it's nice and snug in there. Don't wanna worry about it coming apart or having any issues. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, as well as I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the back of the printer here. Now, the next part I will need here is I'm gonna need that other cable. So as you can see, like I said, this bag's gonna have a lot of goodies for us here that we're gonna need. Because right in this bag, is, there is our cable. And then I will also pull out these other two pieces as we have our take-up roll and as well as our core that we'll use for our labels. So right now, we're worried more about getting this connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out our power cable. Now this is nice and sealed here for us, but I'm gonna go ahead and unseal it. If it'll cooperate with me here. There we go, get this nice and open. And we have this, uh, this nice little printer cable here. I can go ahead and unwind this and I'll go ahead and get it connected to the computer here. So once I get this all out, you'll see it's a standard printer cable. And we'll take the one end here and we're gonna go ahead and connect it in. And once this is all in here, I can take this end here and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it via USB over to my computer. So we'll get that all plugged in. So now we're good to go on the back side here. You can see it's got like the nice plastic here and you can pull it off if you want to so you can see inside. But other than that, we're gonna take a look at the front of the printer now. Cause the next thing we need to worry about is the labels and our ribbon. So we'll go ahead and pull off our nice little protective tape to make sure it doesn't bounce around while it's in shipping. And I'm just gonna put this down here. Now you can completely pull it off. I just like to keep it there so that way ours stays nice as we're getting ready to go here. So we'll go ahead and pull this open. So you're going to see right away there's a few different slots right here. And what we're going to do actually is we're going to pop this section up. Now as I said before, if you want to see these, it's always going to be in the manual here that did come with it. And this will have nice little photos. So if you want to watch and follow along, if you've opened your box, you can go ahead and you'll see right here that I've just done step one, step two, and now we're moving on to step three, which is going to be putting the ribbon in place. Once we hit step four, that'll be when we get to the labels. So let's go ahead then and move on to step three and get the ribbon in place. So we'll take that ribbon that was again, not in the Godex box, but that was in a separate box that we received. And I'll go ahead and pull the ribbon open here. Give me just a second if I get that off. 
Now the key thing is we're putting in this ribbon is whenever you're using it, it transfers all of this nice little black onto your labels, but there is extra. So with that, what happens is that gets hit put on this take up roll. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna start with this ribbon. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this open here so you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing here. So you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and you sh it shows right away. We're gonna take the ribbon, make sure it comes out the bottom here. And this is a nice little piece of tape and I'm gonna actually put this take up roll right here. And I'm gonna start rolling this on and you'll notice it's gonna start to stick. Now, if you do have any problems with the sticking, which you can kind of see mine doesn't quite wanna stick, you can always use um, like um, tape. A lot of people will use just like basic scotch tape and it works great. The other nice thing that does happen with that is if say down the line you need to take it off a take, take up roll at any point, you can use scotch tape and put a little bit of scotch tape right there and it'll go ahead and stay on just fine. So now that I've got this piece here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this and this is gonna slide in here. Now you will notice these little notches that is the same as what is on our ribbon here. These these little notches. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure that when we put this in, we line those up. Because if those don't line up, it may not wanna cooperate as nicely as it should. And you'll see, mine's not quite in until right there, as you can see, the notch is lined up and it kinda of sank a little bit on there. So now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and start feeding it around. So we're gonna take this take it girl and it's gonna come around the top here. And I can actually latch this back down. Actually, we'll leave it open just a bit as we pull this around here. And this is gonna come onto our top piece here. So again, this kind of has that same thing. We've got these little notches on the take-up roll. And right, let's see, where is that? And we will line that up. And actually, I do believe that I have that backwards here. So I'll sort of just flip that around. because We wanna make sure these latches, these little notches line up. So I'm gonna flip that around. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again push this onto the spring side and I'm gonna line this notch over with this right side and it will eventually sit nice and flush. So we'll get that on there. And then as you can see, as I go to start, just I'm gonna just roll this up a little bit so I know that we're rolling nice and even here. So it looks like it's rolling pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead, push this down. You can kind of hear as it locks right in as the ribbon is now ready to go. Now the next piece we're gonna have is our labels. So right now we've got this lovely piece in here. And if I go ahead and spring this back up, we'll see, they've got us a nice little tester strip here that just kinda of has, it's in the printer exactly where those labels are gonna go. So for now, we can pull that aside and we're now gonna pull our labels out of our other box. We'll go ahead and get these untaped here so they're nice and free. And we'll go ahead and pull up our label core. So I've got our label core right here. This will go right through the center of the labels and it'll go right into the printer. So you can see that sits in there just like that. And we can go ahead and now you can see the labels are ready to feed out. So what we'll wanna make sure is we get these nice little guides in here. Now we don't want it too tight that you, as you can see right there, it's buckling. That's gonna be a little too tight. We also don't want it so loose that I can just kind of push this around. We want it nice and snug. So we're somewhere in between. So you can see right there, I can pull them back and forth, but they really don't move side to side. So we'll go ahead and pull it up past this little feed tape roll here. So that way we know the printer's gonna have access to it and I'll just pull it out a little further just to be safe. I'd rather waste a label and then have issues printing later. So I'm gonna go ahead, push this down. We're gonna hear this nice and lock in. Once that's locked, we can go ahead and press this down here. And when we turn this on, it will be ready to go for us.